So I wanted to see for myself how much scientific validity really is there to this widely marketed theory that you see again every time you turn on TV, every time you walk into doctor's office, whatever. What I found was shocking. In book after book after book after book, the scientific evidence pointed to, you know, that's a theory of depression that somebody came up with in the 1950s to try to explain why people felt better if they took this chemical or that chemical, and it sold products, so why change? Ultimately, you cannot measure serotonin levels in any living creature. The only way you can find out how much serotonin is in somebody's brain is to kill them first. Now, that's an effective cure for depression, right? <laughs> and, um, and they also found out since, since the serotonin theory was developed that there's literally hundreds of neurochemicals and chemical reactions and biological influence besides the emotional and environmental and spiritual um, influences that feed into depression. And yet, what continues to sell product is the thing, the one thing that causes these difficult situations is a biological problem and the one thing that can help is our product for life, for you and for everyone genetically connected to you forever, right? Um, there are better ways. As I said, I have been a counselor for 30 years. I have seen people heal. Not just get a little bit better, not just have their symptoms slightly improved or be a little more manageable or be a little dysfun less dysfunctional. I've seen them heal from these afflictions. Not because they right got the right the combination of chemicals finally, but because they learned from the inside to do something different. And that's what we're going to be talking about today.